Just one glass in You're already on my mind When it gets late I always realize that I need you Are you thinking about me too tonight? It's no secret All my friends already know There's no reason Yes, so here we go with some good good um, for Thanksgiving. Girl, look at that over there with all the gingerbread. That's going to be the next video, decorating the kitchen, all gingerbread -y for Christmas, but Thanksgiving first, right? So I just wanted to share with you what we grabbed, well, what hubby grabbed. So some evaporated milk, right? A few cans of that. I use that in my baked macaroni and cheese. So here is the elbow macaroni, right? On that Walmart great value brand. Some pineapple slices. So this ham right here. So I think I told you last year that hubby is pretty much the only one that rocks with the ham. I'll have a, a couple slices. You know what's it? Well, too, I feel like. But so we always get like this one. It's perfect, right? So this is the Kentucky Legend Brown Sugar Smoked Ham on that. And it's already pre sliced. So you know me and the convenience. Take this out, doctor that, throw that in the oven with the pineapples. It's going to be all good. And I got some Miracle Whip. You guys know that is what I use. Oh, this says light. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm not trying to be light on Thanksgiving. I don't think he realized that's the one he grabbed. But the light, girl, the miracle whip goes in the potato salad. Here's my red bliss. I like to use red bliss on the potato salad just because I feel like it holds up better. Um, so yes, doing that. All right, so over here, all the cheeses for the baked macaroni and cheese. Got the mozzarella, the mild cheddar, the sharp cheddar, the Colby Jack, and definitely need the Velveeta on that. Always rocking that. But I feel like that's all. He has to grab um, some collard greens for me tomorrow when he hops over to the other supermarket. This is all Walmart right that great value and yeah we'll be good to go so yeah okay new day new nails yes <laughs> so hubby went food shopping again grabbed the things he didn't grab for me when he went to walmart so these are the glory things so yeah we doing that oh my goodness you know as i'm thinking about this like seeing them bagged up like this my grandmother would kill me if she saw this, um, because we were good at grabbing them, rolling them, cutting them, washing them, soaking them, you know, all of that stuff. But girl, I can't. I need the convenience. So yes on these, but guess what? They're going to still taste good, good. Just like, you know, my grandma used to make. So yes on that. All right. So new day, right? I need to clean the refrigerator out because girl. I can't put the good good in here because it's no space. I'm not really worried about the doors. I don't do anything with that. But all of this up here need to go. Like where, where the leftovers going? Where is the prep going? Where is the potato salad going? I don't know. Carrot pizza, grilled pancakes, and bacon I done made. That's trash. I got, you know, this from Hello Fresh. That's from Hello Fresh. Higgle the ham kind of tucked in there that I showed you. Cream cheese, butter. You know, I usually cut that up into the, you know how they be like, give me a pad of butter. It's already padded. So I got to do that with the butter. I got leftover cauliflower rice. I don't know what this is. Higgle the Hello Fresh. Girl, I don't, that's not my salad. Oh, Hubby got some ham hocks to go into the greens. Now, the greens didn't even fit. So, they downstairs in that refrigerator in the basement. So, girl, all the cheeses that I showed you, they down here. They up here. Girl, look, at this is empty. First of all, you know I love Rebel. It's keto, full fat, lactose free on that. Yes. This is the cookie dough, and I like um the butter pecan y'all hear the dishwasher girl i'm trying to do that too it's too much going on in here 
cheese up here. Go, oh, this is Chinese. That need to go in the trash. So it's it's a whole lot of stuff. Oh, I always talk about how I use this faithfully on the shopping channel. This is what I grabbed from the DT, so I gotta fill that up. Right, boom on that. Here go the eggs, so we good to go. I think I'm gonna make apple pie cupcakes for Thanksgiving, but girl, what's the whole thing in here? Pepperoni. Because they didn't have no pepperoni, you know the DiGiorno's that Kara like. They didn't have any pepperoni, all cheese, so we had to grab the pepper. Oh my goodness, girl, we had to grab the pepperoni. Look, that's for Vlogmas, the cheese. I done had the door open too long. You hear that? That's the cheese advent calendar for Vlogmas, y'all. Don't look at that. And then I got all this kind of juice. This, the door. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Let me, girl, let me fix this. I need to clean. I got all kinds of spills and everything. This is real life, real deal, holy fill type of stuff <laughs> that y'all know y'all can relate to. But let me close this door for y'all be talking sugar, honey, iced tea about me. <laughs> yes, on my bear. I grabbed this from Build-A-Bear. He came already stuffed, right? I did a whole birth certificate for him and everything. How stinking cute is that? So it's a friend's bear. Look. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is cute. Look at the ears. You see the yellow cab? Mm-hmm. When Phoebe was driving that cab. This bear is so stinking cute. So I got some outfits. I got an outfit, right? How you doing? Right, got that, the friend shirt. He got some jeans. Look at his jeans. That is cute. Oh, they need pockets in the bag. I like pockets. And then I grabbed him some PJs, right? Central perk. Look at girl, look at these pajamas. And then I grabbed him the Central Perk, you know, some coffee, right? We need some coffee to go so he could be chilling with that. I got some kicks for him. Don't they look like Converse? <laughs> the Builder Bears, the Babs, right? That is so cute. So that's going with the outfit with the jeans. And I got the turkey that Monica wore on her head, right? So yes. Oh, oh look at that. The legs on there. <laughs> that is funny. So just in time for Thanksgiving. And then I grabbed this too because I thought it was so super cute. You're my lobster, right? Mm-hmm. So, yes on that, and I made a birth certificate for him. So, his date of birth is the day that, you know, Matthew Perry Chandler Bing died. So, it's October 28th, 2023, 16 inches, 7 ounces. Eye color is blue, fur is black, belongs to Tish, stuff with love by me. So, yes on that. I just want to... <laughs> I know I'm so corny y'all but this is so super cute I just wanted to share it with you guys yes girl I gotta dress him now so let me do that real quick y'all that's cute he is so stinking cute so he's already it's nighttime so we rocking the PJs on that and you know we'll get him all dressed up in his Thanksgiving gear on Thanksgiving so yes so let me finally get to prepping oh my goodness so I realized I didn't have any salt pork. That's what I would normally put in here. And so I just grabbed some bacon. I have the thick cut bacon. So that was on point. So I just cut that into four. So I ended up with like 12 pieces. Threw that in there, right? That's looking good. And once that cooked up a little bit, um, I rewashed the greens again. I'm, I know I'm insane, but I just did it again. So... They are triple washed, but girl, it don't matter to me. So I threw them in, right? Threw the sugar in, threw the salt. Always more sugar than salt for me anyway. And I have to keep testing the water. Girl, look how I'm stuffing. <laughs> Get in there. Oh my goodness. Because you know you have so much and then it cooks down to like nothing, right? So... And see, you you see what I mean? Like I'm throwing the sugar, some salt, sugar, you know, and then just getting that all good, good. So 
as I'm doing it, I'm like, okay, so let me throw the water on. This is hot water I'm throwing, you know, to cover it and everything. Now, I know this is going to start popping over. I know it. Why didn't I just separate it like I usually do? I don't know. I'm always trying to take a shortcut. And then I mess up. So at some point, and I think I show you that I had to end up separating the two, but girl, it was a whole thing. So, so yeah, I am in charge of the collard greens, the baked macaroni and cheese. What else did I say I had to do? The potato salad. I'm missing something. Um, oh, and the ham. Yeah, I'm rocking the ham. I'm doing the noodles for the baked macaroni and cheese. On the other side, got that going, right? Girl, I stuck that big old ham hock <laughs> right on in there. Get on in there. I had two. And then I was like, you know what? I don't need the other one. But I did end up using it. So you see how I, I'm testing it, taking the spoon, blowing it a little bit, throwing it in the palm of my hand so I can, you know, see how it's tasting. And then I had to keep throwing the good good in. So you know how it is when you're cooking. You got a taste in this. And that's why I feel like cooks aren't really that hungry when it's time to eat. Because we taste testing the whole time. It's the whole thing. So, and I think I show you, girl, I had to separate it. So I got the smaller one. I got the big, big pot. And then I got the smaller pot. So I end up mixing it back together. But over here with the mac and cheese, right? Miss Cara is over here. So I get she look, she cleaning up after me. I'm still working. <laughs> she don't even wait till I'm done. She is cleaning it up. That is my girl. I'm telling you. So she wanted to help. So of course, of course, you can help mommy. So, you know, I have like opened everything up for her. And this is part of her occupational skills, you know, um, just doing things with her hands. So um, yeah, I let her do it. I don't care, girl. It's, we all going to eat it anyway, so it don't matter. But guess who not going to eat it? Her! She ain't going to eat no baked macaroni cheese. Not unless I put some pizza sauce in there or something, girl. So, you know, she was pouring and everything. And then she's pointing like, look, I did it. So, oh my goodness. She is such a sweetheart. And again, with the quick and fast on the baked macaroni and cheese, and I like it really cheesy and I could have done, you know, like the roux and I just, I didn't feel like it. This is quick, fast. It's so good and flavorful, right? And so cheesy. So, you know, when you start mixing it up, you can kind of say, well, I need a little bit more of this and that. And the cheese wasn't popping the way I needed it to be. So I threw some more in there. So yeah, I'm gonna be good to go on that. Swing like Natalie Cole. But then out of the blue, who strolls down the boulevard but you? Your place is closer than mine. Why don't we go there and have some I feel like I always tell you guys whenever I'm cooking, right, that it is my least favorite thing to do. I do not like it because I always feel like I'm not good at it. And I know I need to stop saying that because clearly I'm doing some things, but I don't know. You know how they always say you're your worst critic. I 100% am. So... But hubby tears it up. Sydney loves my macaroni and cheese, so it is all good. But yeah, I don't, I don't really like it 
girl, she back again with the darn Pop-Tarts. Now, any of you guys who thought I was joking about these darn Pop-Tarts, <laughs> she be on it. Oh, my goodness. And then she getting the juice. Now, she on the corner. So, I'm like, if she pour this juice and my macaroni and cheese, <laughs> girl. It's going to stay in there and we're going to be having some citrusy or fruit punchy macaroni and cheese because I'm not doing it over. Girl, she had me nervous for like 30 seconds. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I, you know, did all of that, popped it in the refrigerator and I will pop it in the oven in the a.m. So that's all done and I was happy about that. So now it's time for the potato salad. So... I'm just peeling these real quick and fast. I think I did six or seven. I was trying to guesstimate the pan a little bit. So that's what I was doing. And yeah, it was nothing. Normally, this is kind of where hubby would help me out. But he he wasn't home yet. So I wasn't waiting. I just, you know, how you just get into the flow and you got to keep it moving. So and I cut them up pretty quickly. I, you know, the way I slice, you see, and I don't like big pieces in my potato salad. They have to be like small like that, <laughs> like a little bite size. You know what I mean? So yes on that. So got these in here. They doing their thing, right? So you see how far down the greens went? <laughs> that is crazy that they cooked down like that, girl. But I realized I forgot to put the eggs in there. So the way I do it, for every two potatoes, I will do one egg. So since I did six or seven or um, potatoes, I did three eggs. So... Yeah, now I'm just chopping the onion up to go in there. I'm not, you know, too heavy on the onion. Um, I do love onions, but, you know, I don't want it to be overpowering in the potato salad. So I'm going to just do half of the onion. That should be more than enough. The street, out of the Wind starts blowing in ways Yes, I want to lay it on thick. So before I forgot, I just wanted to cut all of the butter into tablespoons. I had one or two more sticks to do, but I forgot that I want to make the apple pie cupcakes. So I need, you know, I didn't want to cut the butter. I could have, but you know what I mean? Why make more work for myself? So I just did these two right here and... Yeah, it's all good. So I feel like around this time, the bestie is there. Uh, we were talking about tomorrow. Oh, me and the bestie, we're doing Thanksgiving together. We did last year too. So I hosted last year. This year she's doing it. But this chopper thing, y'all know I love this thing. I use it like when I'm doing the ground beef and all of that good, good with the eggs. It's just so easy. So I had the potatoes cooling off in the freezer, you know, because they were piping hot. So I'm talking to her. I'm fussing. The hand's going to start moving. Look. <laughs> and y'all know I threw the Miracle Whip in there, throwing the relish. I got the onions I cut up, the eggs I just chopped up. Going to mix that all in good, good. Throw some paprika on top. Now, hubby walking back and forth he want to know you almost done I'm like if you don't go sit down <laughs> and give me a minute right so I think we were going back and forth because you know I got my good good the prep she got hers she doing the sweet potato casserole but she was talking about some canned stuff I said hold on what we doing you not cutting up no potatoes no sweet potatoes What's happening? I said, girl, you better not give me no sweet potato casserole out no can. I don't care if Boston Market can do it or not. <laughs> she, Because she kept saying Boston Market is in the can. I was like, I don't care. You better not be giving me no canned sweet potatoes. 
It was a whole thing. But yes, on the potato salad, wrapping that up. The greens is all good, good, y'all. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Rock out to this. And I will see you guys soon. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye.